We'll start to warm up the upper body. Take your arms, cross them in front of your body and open them up. We have a pretty significant plank series at the top of class. So we can kind of just get into the upper body here, shoulders in preparation for that. Good, arms out to the side, roll your wrists one direction. And roll your wrists the second direction. Stretch your arms up and over your head, grab your left wrist, take a side body stretch over to the right. Take a moment here to just root down through your left foot and reach and extend through both side bodies. Come on back through center, take your hands back behind your head, elbows open, lean back, open up the front of the chest. If you're feeling any dissonance in the low back, you can lift your seat up and pull your ribs down a little bit. Reach your arms back up to the ceiling, grab your right wrist, side body stretch over to the left. And then as you get strong through the right foot foundation, see if you can lift up even the left side body. Come on back through center, reach up. Take your feet super wide, wide turnout squat, hands to thighs. Start to shift a little bit side to side. And you can just press open through the thighs. Come through center, take an inhale breath. We'll twist over to the right, let your left shoulder melt. Press the thighs open, especially on the left hand side. Come on back through center, twist over to the left. Right shoulder melts. One breath in, deep breath out. Okay, walk your feet in a little bit closer, turn out squat. So your foot, feet are a little bit wider than your hip points, your toes turn at an angle. We're going full range squat to stand. So we're going to squat and stand, squat and stand. Reach back, lift up, reach back, lift up. Down and up, it's down and up. You can overemphasize the pushback of the palms to open up the chest a little bit further. Creating all sorts of mobility and strengthen the outer hips. You go down, squeeze the seat. Down, squeeze the seat. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Yeah, Laura B. Okay, bar fit. So we've got progressive leg loading in a bar fit class. We've got a lot of deep core strength. And we get to use all sorts of awareness to go deeper, take it four more, three more, two more. Join me on the down right here, lift your right heel up, reach your arms back, tricep kick back. It's a bend and reach, it's a bend and stretch, it's a bend and reach, it's a bend and stretch. Eight counts, six counts, four, three, same thing, left heel lift, down and kick back, down and kick back, down and kick back. That's it, yeah, Carmina. Amazing, you've got eight. Then we're gonna alternate heels in four, in three, in two, we just alternate. Go to the right heel, to the left heel, to the right heel, to the left heel. Little drop, little drop. Amazing. Tricep kick back, tricep kick back, tricep kick back. Stay low right here, you've got 16 counts. It's 16, 15. Little hold here before we go into our first plank. We'll hold this down in four. We'll hold in three. We'll hold in two. Okay, here's your hold right here. You could have both heels down. You could lift both heels up. Try to get your arms so straight you feel the back of the triceps turn on. Then move your hips a little bit lower. Stay just like this for four, for three, for two. Grab your ball, put it between your inner thighs. Reach your arms up, 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 up. Take this into a forward fold. Your hands could come down to your shins if you want. They could also come down to the floor. We'll take little teeny tiny knee bends. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee, bend your right knee, bend your left knee two more times each side. Right knee bends, left knee bends, last time. Okay, stay in the fold. Drape your chest over your thighs. Let your forehead drop to the mat. Good, good. We'll keep the ball between your inner thighs. Tiptoe your feet back. Come into a high plank position. Amazing. So we have the ball between your thighs. 
In this plank position, your knees could be down or your knees could be lifted. Hug the ball, hug the ball, then hold it there. Go squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball, hold. It's in, in, then just hold the hug. That's it. In, in, and squeeze. Think about moving your hips down and your chest up. So you're coming to an incline. The toes are the bottom of the incline. The back of your head is the top of the incline. Take one more. Now everybody hold the squeeze. Everybody shift your chest forward one inch. Tilt your sternum up. Squeeze the ball tight between your thighs. Three, two, keep the ball downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back, that's it. Prioritize creating space in the hamstrings here in this down dog. If that means that you bend your knees a little bit more to create that, that's awesome, do that. Big breath in and big breath out. Okay, come to your knees, take the ball out between your thighs. You're just gonna stash that. We're coming into a forearm plank. Bring your forearms down, extend your legs back. Now, if you wanna keep knees on the floor for this series, you'll just hold it there, that's fine. Otherwise, we're gonna walk in, pike your hips up to a dolphin pose. Let's feel that first. So your forearms root, your hips are lifting high, 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 and your knees could absolutely be bent here. Then from here, we'll walk your feet back out. You're coming into a forearm plank, hips a little bit lower than your shoulders. Four counts, let's go. Take it, walk in, lift the hips, lift the hips, lift the hips, walk out, back into a forearm plank. So you'll go plank to pike, three, four, pike to plank, three, four. It's walk in, pike, lift up. It's walk out, plank, lower down. Last time, lift, two, three, four, lower. Stay here at the bottom, double knee tap. Both knees tap, both knees lift, both knees tap, both knees lift. Lower and lift. Lower, then lift. Just four and a hold. Just three and a hold. Chin up, everybody. Two and a hold. Here's your final hold for this moment. Think about squeezing the sides of your shoulder blades down, lifting the front of your chest up. Final counts. Eight, seven, Child's pose is coming in four, three, two. Tap your knees wide, child's pose. Take the opportunity for this stretch. We are moving even deeper into this long extended core block. So let everything surrender to the floor right here. Okay, we're coming back to a high plank for twisted plank to pike. So high plank position, I'm facing the same way as you so that this makes sense. Bring your toes together to tap. Perfect. Turn your hips right, stack your feet if you like. Your chest is gonna stay facing forward. We're taking this into a twisted pike. So you'll lift, squeeze your left side body, and back into a twisted plank, just like that, four counts. Lift, two, squeeze your inner thighs. Twisted plank, two, three, four. It's lift, two, three, four, and lower, two, three, that's it. Lift, squeeze and cinch your left side body. Lower, make sure your chest is facing forward. Last time, lift, two, three, four, and lower. Tap your left knee down to the floor, Turn your chest over to the right side wall, lift the foot, full pull. So you're gonna pull in, extend long, pull in, extend long. Elbow knee, reach, elbow knee, reach. Eight reps, seven reps, six reps. Nice job, everybody. For four, for three, for two, for one. And come on down to the forearms, forearm plank. Stack your right heel on top of the left. It's a two knee bend, so both knee bend tap. Both knees lift, little pike of the hips. Back to forearm plank, so knees tap. Knees lift, squeeze the thighs. Lift the hips, back to forearm plank. It's knees tap. Knees lift, 
Hike the hips. Bar and plank, two more times. Knees down. Knees up. Yeah, Kathleen, hips up. Bar and plank, last one right here. Knees up. Knees up. Hips up. Forearm plank extension stretch. Both knees down. Hips up. Stretch work. Okay, and then the shocking reality is that we have the second side. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Twisted plank. Come to high plank. Twist your hips left. Stack the heels if you'd like. Four counts. Pike it up. Go lift. Two, three, four. Twisted plank. Two, three, four. That's it. Squeeze your right side body. Cinch it. Then brace your right side body as you extend longer. Lift. Two, three. Yeah, Amy McGuire. And out. Two. Leslie, awesome. Nice and slow, everybody. Carving out the right side body. And lower. Two more times. Lift it all the way up and back. Lower down and think about shaking your chest further forward. Last time, lift. Two, three, four, lower. Right knee down to the floor, turn left, reach and pull. It's reach and pull. From a functional side plank perspective, we work it right here. It's out and hug, it's out and hug. And that's it. Extend and pull. Yes, Sarah Cox. Last two. Last one. Forearm plank. This time your left leg stacks on top of your right. We have the knee tap to pike. So we'll start with your knees. Tap the floor. Knees lift. Then you'll pike lift the hips. Back to forearm plank. Stay slow. Knees down. Knees up. Then it's hip up. Then it's chest forward. Just like that. Tap the knees. Lift the knees, pike up back, and forward. Couple more, down, lift, squeeze the thighs. Extend back, and lower. This is your last series, down, and up. Go back, both feet to the floor, let's pulse it out. Go soft, forward, soft, forward, soft, forward. This is it for this really long extended core series right here. It's forward, back, forward, back. Take your seat down, lift your chest up, zipper up from the pubic bone. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Down dog is coming for you next in eight, seven, six. Down dog in four, three, two. Downward facing dog. Celeste, way to honor yourself, that was awesome. Take a full breath in, everybody, and a full breath out. All right, walk your feet to your hands. We're going to use both weights in your one slider. Okay, so for this, let's just see where would be the best place for everybody to kind of align and stack. What I'm seeing here is that we'll probably go to the right side of your mat, Karen will play with you a little bit since the wall is right there. We can have you maybe at the back of your mat too. Everybody else can step to the right side of your mat. Your left foot, and we'll face this left side wall so you can take a quarter turn over your left shoulder. Your left foot can be on something solid, whether that's wood floor, whether that's mat, it doesn't matter. We're coming to an incline lunge with your right toes lightly on the slider. Your left foot is on total stable ground. Yeah, and let's just switch your slider so your left foot is your working leg and your right toes are on the slider. Everybody feel good here? Okay, and then just switch Kathleen that slider so that the black spongy part's on the wood and the gray is on the toes. Okay, we're coming down to an incline lunge, turn your palms forward. We're only coming up halfway with a halfway curl. Okay, so we're going down to a lunge. Halfway up, halfway curl. Down to a lunge. Halfway up, halfway curl. Go down two counts. Lift two counts. Reach the arms long, bend halfway. It's down and down. It's up and up. That's it. Lower two counts. Lift two counts. Perfect. Go down, down, halfway curl. 
reach, extend, and halfway. So what's beautiful about this is we're working your biceps in an eccentric contraction, a lengthening contraction, all the way down to lengthen, halfway curl to shorten. Down and down. Okay, this is just a start for the left leg. So if it already hurts, that's great. It's just gonna get worse as we do this like this. Couple more, down and down. Halfway curl, down and down. Halfway curl, two more. Last one right here. From this halfway up, turn your palms in. We've got running man to tempo. So you're gonna go push, pull in, push, pull in, or it's out and back, out and back, out and back, up and back. So much side bodies are required for this, whether it's a faster tempo or a slower tempo. So brace your side body wall and go push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Just like that, go out, in, out, in, out, in. You're so welcome, sweetie. Stay low. Are you breathing? Probably not, you have 16 counts, 16, 14, 12. We'll hold it on the back in eight, seven, six, in four, three, tricep kickback, turn your palms to the ceiling, and it's a straight arm lift as you drop. Straight arm lift, straight arm lift, straight arm lift, straight arm lift. Work your arms towards straight. Go lower in the left leg, slide the slider back. 16, 14, 12. That's it, you've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you need one weight, you need one slider, and you're coming to the bar. If you've got yoga mats around your area, just fold them up, roll them up, give yourself some space. The single weight can be on the floor. We're not gonna use it yet. We'll continue to work your left leg. Come to a narrow V setup where your heels are together to touch. Your left foot is on the floor. Your right little toesies are on top of the slider. Slide your right foot out to the side. Bring it 45 degrees back. Bend your left standing leg. So you're in this big lunge shape where your right leg is back behind you at 45 degrees. You can always press your right hand into the bar for more side body activation. You'll pull the slider to your left heel, go straight back behind you. Pull it into the left heel, back out to 45. So we're going in, straight back, in, 45. In, straight back, in, 45. It's in, behind you, it's in, out to the side a little bit. In, straight back, in, to the side. Okay, now you're really holding steadiness in the left leg. So take it down low as far as you can. Hold the left leg there. And just allow the right leg to slide dynamically. That's it. In, behind you. In, out to the side. Yeah, Delcy. Y'all feel the heat in the left leg, the standing leg? That's the constant tension, the progressive leg loading that we bring into a bar fit class. Eight counts, six counts, four, three. Take it out to the side, drop the body. Go down a little bit, down a little bit. Yep, so you're back at that 45 degree angle. Chest up, everybody. You're keeping all the body weight in the left leg. So if your slider feels like it's not sliding, you just have a little bit too much body weight in the right foot. Keep the body weight all in the left leg. That's it, stay low in eight. Stay low right here in four, three. This time, tap the left heel. Take the slider all the way cross body. So you're going in, cross body, in, cross body. Slide in, push behind, slide in, push behind. It's in and back, it's in and back. This is a significant challenge for the left quad. 
of the standing leg. And it's a big, huge challenge for the left glute. You're really gonna feel this through the outer hip and thigh on the left side. Yeah, Joy. In, slide back. In, slide back. Beautiful. Keep the chest open. Be really aware and conscious of not dropping your head too much. You're thinking of your spine, yeah, Britt, as one long line of energy. We're still here for three, for two. Hold that cross body lunge. We have little pulses to finish this up. So you're going cross and down, cross and down, cross and down. Good, Karen, you got this. Yeah, Jana. Little tiny go, down and down an inch, down an inch. It's the left leg burning right here. It's down, yeah, Amy. Both Amy's, Amy and Amy. Stay low right here, you still have 16, let's go. 16, 15, 14. No slide drill, you'll grab your weight in your right hand. Last eight, last six, grab your weight in four, three. Weight in your right hand, turn over your right shoulder. Just like we did on the floor, but standing, go pull, reach over. Pull, reach over. In, stretch, in, stretch. Exactly like that. If this tempo feels too fast and you're compromising any alignment of the spine, of the pelvis, of the body, you can slow it down. Hug, kick, hug, kick. Okay, so we're moving into a dynamic block here, utilizing just one weight. Beautiful, everybody. Last eight, turn and face the center of the room in four, three, two, and one. Face the center, drop down into a parallel chair. So your shoulder blades are really centered on the bar. Your hips are starting beneath the shoulders. You can grab the weight in both hands. From here, we've got hip lifts. So as you lift the hips up, lift the weights up, you can lift the heels up as well. Kind of lean back, you can sort of anchor your head on the wall behind you. So you're going lower hips, heels, lift hips, heels, lower, or if you want to go faster, we can. You can go drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. So even more quad and seat work here. You have front and shoulder as well. Yeah, Kayla. Hold it up, your hand on four. Hold it up in three. Hold it up in two. Hold it up, take your hand to the side of your waist. You're going to go drive one way, drive the other way, drive one way, drive the other way. Good. Use your shoulder blades as an anchor. Lift your hips high, high, high. Feel the quads burn. Joy, beautiful. Yeah, Sarah Cox. Beautiful, Kathleen. Good shake, Leslie. I love that. Last eight. Face your left in four, three, two. Second side, you're going reach and pull, reach and pull. Out and in, out and in. So second side, left hand has the weight, left leg is kicking out and in, out and in. All right, in a moment, we're going to second side leg. So we'll start at a narrow V setup with your left toes on the slider. You can safely put the weight down on the floor. We're almost there, last four, last three, last two. Safely put the weight down, everybody. Bring your left toes on top of the slider. Heels together, toes turn out wide. Slide your left toes straight out to the side. Bring them back 45 degrees. Bend your right standing leg, so you're in a deep lunge. You're taking the slider, tap your right heel, straight back behind you. Tap your right heel, out to 45. So we're going in, push back, in, out to 45. In, straight back, in, out a little bit. In, straight back, in, a little bit, out to the side. Come in, push back, come in, little out. Stay low on the right leg the whole time. So there's constant progressive tension that's happening in the right thigh, right glute, right side of hip. 
Go out, then in, go back, then in. Little push wide, push straight back. Push out a little bit, push back. Okay, so what we're really starting to define here is even more inner thigh steadiness, especially if you stay low in the right leg the whole time. The stabilizer is gonna have to kick on. Eight counts, six counts, four, three. On the out and back, little drops. Drop an inch, drop an inch, drop an inch. Exactly that. We have that big cross leg lunge that's coming up before we come back to the mat for core. You got 16 counts, 14 reps, 12 right here. Stay low in the right leg in eight, in six, in four, three. Bring the foot in, take a cross body, big lunge. Now we move it. Come in and tap, out and lunge, in and tap, out and lunge. In, behind, in, behind. Squeeze in, press out, squeeze in, press out. Flex, awesome. Yes, Sasha. Beautiful, now challenge yourself. Your right leg is like, I've had enough. That's just the mind saying that. Listen to the deeper intuition of your body. And if it says yes, go lower in the right leg. We'll hold that cross leg lunge in four more reps, in three more reps, in two more reps. Big cross lunge, little pulses, down and back, down and back, down and back. <coughs> this is the final burnout. Then you'll bring all your stuff back to your mat. We'll grab your fit ball, core block is coming up next. You've got 16 counts, 15 counts, 14 counts, 13 counts. You can do this. Perfect job, everybody. For eight, for six, last four. Lower, three, lower, two, lower. Okay, grab your stuffies. Come on back to your mat. Grab your fit ball, come on to your back. All right. Get off the legs and we'll get into deep core body. The ball is coming behind your shoulder blades. Walk your little tootsies in. Take your elbows out. Turn them in a little bit. Pull your ribs down to the ball. Lift up the chest. Go up a little bit, up a little bit, up a little bit, up a little bit. Tiny little lift to the ceiling, lift to the ceiling, lift to the ceiling, lift to the ceiling. If you want more sensation, continue to pull your ribs down towards the ball behind them. Then if you want more sensation, lift the cylinder of your pelvic floor up by hugging your sitting bones in, thinking about scooping in and up all the way through the base of the body, all the way to the sternum and the dome of the diaphragm. Final reps right here, last eight, last six, Last four, three. Hold the thumb up, keep pulling your ribs down, extend your left leg forward, cross your right leg on top of your left like we've done before. Pull your ribs down to the ball, chin up. Same thing, we're going tiny lift, tiny lift, tiny lift, tiny lift. Squeeze your inner thighs like mad and create the lift off the ball. Little tiny lift and lift. With this straight leg variation, we can get out of the hip flexor and work the deep core body. It's up a little bit, up a little bit. Final reps, last eight, last six, last four, three. Keep the legs crossed. We'll take the opening stretch intentionally. This will inform our next movement. So open up the elbows, open up the front of the rib cage, open up the lungs, open up the front of the stomach wall. Now, you're gonna come halfway up, pull the ribs down, and you can stay like this or squeeze your right knee, elbows together and hug. 
Then everything is going to go out. You have the option to keep your right leg extended out as you take the big opening. So it's going in, two, three, curl, out, two, three, open. Hug the ribs down, curl everything in, hug the ribs down till they finally open up. So it's full range of opening up the chest and then squeezing the deep core body from the pelvic floor all the way to the bottom of the rib cage. Yeah, good job, everybody. Dresden, that is beautiful. Two more times in two, three, four, and out. Two, three, last time. We're gonna hold this next one on the out. So extend the leg forward, lift up of the chest halfway, pull the ribs down into the ball. Option right foot hovers, option arms reach back. That's it, pull the ribs down, 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 skip the side bodies, hold four, hold three, hold two, take a little stretch. Deep breath in everyone, and deep breath out. Hey, cross your opposite leg, so it's left leg on top of right, hands behind your head, squeeze the inner thighs, lift up about halfway, pull the ribs down, lift your chest, go tiny up, tiny up, tiny up, tiny up. Little lift, little lift, little lift, little lift. Let your head get heavy in your palms, and you're lifting up right through the middle of the chest. 16. 14, 12, squeeze your inner thighs, eight, six, four, three, two. We'll intentionally take the stretch, legs stay crossed. Open everything up, feel the space. Then from here, we'll lift up. You have the option to pull your left knee to your chest. Scoop, hollow, squeeze, four pounds, take it out. Two, three, four, in. Two, three, four, go out. Two, three, four, come in. Two, ribs down, 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 go out. Two, three, yeah, Carnina, take it in. Two, slow it down, everybody, go out. Two, three, four, in, in. Two more reps before our hold. Take it out. Longer, 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 longer. And in. Tighter, 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 tighter. All the way through. Take it all the way out. Take it all the way in. Now find the length. Re-extend your left leg forward. Pull your ribs down. This is your final hold. Lift up halfway. Option arms back. Hold for eight. Longer for six. Longer for four, three, two, big old stretch. Love that. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, you can leave your ball on the mat, grab your weights, come on up to stand. We've got a dynamic block. For this dynamic block, Turn over your right shoulder so we have the long edge of the mat to work with. Walk your feet wide. All right, we'll move from a lateral lunge shape. So your toes are parallel, facing the right side wall. Bend your right knee, reach your left hand down to the floor. Bend your left knee, reach your right hand down to the floor, side to side. Go back of the mat, front of the mat, back of the mat, front of the mat. If you're feeling good, you could start to move through the twist a little bit more. So your twist, your chest is twisting, back of space, front of space, back of space. You also have that option to kick the one arm back, like a tricep kick back. So that might feel really good. We're still gonna finish up the second leg block after this dynamic block. So now that we still have that coming, that lunge shape. Nice work, just side to side, stay right here, go 16 counts. 14 counts, 12 counts, wide turn up with V curls in eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three. Wide turn out right here. You're going V curl and drop, V curl and drop. Lift and curl, lower, lift and curl, lower. That's it. Amazing. So now we have all this stabilization because we've broken up every part of the body. Use that in this big turnout shape to start to feel the whole body work dynamically. Last four, last three, last two, last one. So we're just going to cross your left foot over and pull it back out. Same side. You're going cross and pull, cross and pull. Left foot in, left foot out, left foot in, left foot out. Yes, Britt. Operate with your breath so you can go exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. We're going back to wide turnout squat in four, in three, in two. From a wide turnout, it's a chest press. So we're going lift, lower, lift, lower. If you want to double time it, feel free. If you feel like your body is craving faster range of motion, that's available for you as well. So shoulder press, pull, shoulder press, pull. That's it. 16, 15, 14, 13. Then we have the right arm cross body that's coming up in eight counts, seven counts, six counts, four, Three, stay low, right foot goes, in and cross, open, in and cross, open. Right arm push, right arm pull, right arm push, right arm pull. In just a moment, you'll keep your weights, you'll locate your slider. We have to finish up this right leg, it's coming up. Almost there, everybody. Final reps right here. Four punch, three punch. Two punch. Hey, right foot on floor or mat or something sturdy. Left toes on the slider. You can face any direction you want. Come on down to an incline lunge. Turn your palms forward. We're only coming up halfway, halfway curl, okay? So we're going up a little bit, down to the edge. Halfway up curl, down reach. It's up a little bit. It's down to the bottom, halfway up, halfway curl. With the only halfway curl, it's intentional right here. We're working the bicep as it shortens a little bit, more so as it lengthens. Little shorten, lot of lengthen, tiny curl, reach that extend. That's it. It's up, it's down. Okay, so we have this right leggy right here. That's our working leg. We're going to continue to progressively load it with time under tension, with intentional movement. Little up, down from your edge. Running man is coming up. We'll stay in that halfway last two like this. Last one like this. Reach your arms forward, find your edge and go pull and push, pull and push, pull and push. Emphasize the pulling of your shoulder heads back. So we're working the postural muscles and really being no cognizant of this in our modern world. So instead of letting your chin drop, move the middle of your neck back, then go lower in the right leg. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Yes, Sasha. We have our last tricep work coming up. It's out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Stay low. Last eight counts. Six counts. Four, three. Straight arm lifts. Go down and lift. This time your palms face in, though. Little down, press back, down, press back, down, press back, down, press back. Squeeze your shoulders back so much. You feel your collarbones opening your chest opening, straight arm lift, straight arm lift, straight arm lift, straight arm lift. Almost there. Everybody go a little bit lower. These are your final counts. I know you've got this. Last eight, last six, last four, 
three, final hold of class is plank. Take any plank variation you want. You could put the ball between your thighs if you find that helpful. Plank position of your choice. This is it right here. Final plank. If your wrists are sensitive, come down to the forearms. If you feel like your alignment needs a little support, come down to your knees. Kayla, I love that. Hold and breathe. Whatever is limiting you today, dissolve it. Get out of the construct of your mind and start to feel fluid with your body. Hold right here, you're almost there. It's 32, 31, 30 pounds. I know you can. Instead of the brain saying you can't, 24, 23, own it. Be alive, be present. Last 16 counts, it's 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. That's it. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, everybody. Child's pose or embryo pose or whatever just feels so good for you in this moment. Breathe into the back of your body. Breathe into the sides of your body. Breathe into the front of the heart, the back of the heart. Seated forward fold. Take your feet straight forward in front of you. Bend your knees, especially if your back pelvis is tilting backwards. I'll just show you this in profile real quick. So if your hamstrings are tight, your pelvis is going to tilt back. Instead of this, bend your knees, bring your pelvis forward. We'll take this into forward fold. So wherever you land, you can move your sitting bones back. And it's like your pubic bone is turning down towards the floor. So the legs don't need to be straight ever, especially if you're honoring just the position of the body in this moment today. Then fill up this whole lower back area with each breath. One more inhale. And exhale. Okay, as you rise, slide your right foot in. Just get cozy with the shin, sit up tall. If I have prenatal students at home, you'll be twisting left. Anybody else, left arm high, cross the elbow over, twist right. The reason why the bar foundation is so functional is because we move in all range of motion, all planes of motion as well. So you can feel this through the twist of your upper right shoulder upper thoracic spine. Come on back through center. Spin your right thigh out to the side. We'll take a side body stretch. So you can lift the left sit bones a little bit, anchor down as your chest turns to the right slightly. Option right arm up and over, side body stretch. Breathe into the right low back so much that you can feel the ebb and flow of every breath. Deep breath in and deep breath out. We'll come to seated figure four. Bend your left knee. Take your right ankle on top of the left back. If you want more, lift the chest. A lot of you, this will be a perfect place to stay, especially if the hips feel a little bit tight today. Or you can take this into double pigeon. Your left shin comes down to the floor. Right ankle stacks on top of your left knee. You might really love the ball underneath your right knee. If you're here in double pigeon, broaden the sitting bones. Lift the chest. If you want more, start to fold forward. 
these are the areas of the body we really started to work and hone in on today. So instead of trying to rush through this, be present with each breath. Big breath in, big breath out. My favorite shape of all time, stripper pose. Second side, left ankle, Taba, I know. I can see that's very comfy for a lot of you in here. If you want more, lift the chest. Feel free to stay here or double pigeon, second side. The left ankle lines up on top of the right knee, right side. And just get broad. So you're creating this really broadening foundation option for the ball underneath your left knee. You can stay like this or start to hinge forward. Breathe in and breathe out. We'll all lift and rise. You can keep your left foot into the right inner thigh. Side body stretch so you're facing just a little bit left. Option left arm up and overhead. Breathe in, ha, breathe out. As you lift, slide your right leg in, lift your left knee up, take a little hug. Prenatal students at home, twist right. Anyone else, right arm up, hook the elbow, twist left. Bar teacher training starts next Thursday. Britt's doing it with me. I feel like Delphi, there's still a maybe out there. If anyone's interested, even if you don't want to teach bar, it's such an amazing tool for your own personal development. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Okay, both feet in, just wrap around yourself. Drop the chin, curl into a little teeny, teeny, tiny ball. And slide this into corpse pose, laying on your back. Or if there's some other shape that you really desire, you could take that too. So totally up to you in this moment to just slow down. For time integrity, it is 9.50. If you need to leave, I totally get it. For those that are able to stay, this room is yours. New schedule on tap for this week upcoming. We've got bar teacher training beginning next week. I'm hiring Ice and Glow guides. Sent out an email yesterday looking for leaders who are really curious and starting their own very intentional ice bath practice. There's just so many amazing, thrilling things happening. I'm so glad I get to walk this path with you all. Happy 2024 is our first bar fit class of the new year. Felt super good. I love you guys. Be well.